Yo, what's going on, fellas? It's your boy, King Dre, and I'm coming at y'all again with another one, man. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of not rewarding a woman's bad behavior, man. But first, like the video, subscribe to the video, and hit the notification bell. That way, you can get this good player shit fresh out the press. Also, I just dropped my new course, How to Make a Woman Fall in Love and Obsess Over You. That's right. I break that shit down. All the way down, man, on some real player shit. Thorough, thorough, thorough game, man. And it's three hour course, you know what I'm saying? Three hours long, full of full of game, man. And, and I can guarantee you a lot of that shit you never heard before. But um, I don't want to take up too much time into that. But um, for my Patreon supporters, man, I'm gonna drop this video on Patreon, but for my Patreon supporters, this week, like the last week and a half, I've been kind of slow on content. I've been rushing to get this course out. My whole, all my time has been going into that course. I released the course, so now I'm about to pump you, get back cranking this shit out, man. So I appreciate you guys for being with me. But let's get into the game real quick, man. Um, one of the Patreon members, you know, wanted me to talk about, you know, um, the importance of, you know, not rewarding a woman's bad behavior. And, and a lot of times, man, a lot of guys, a lot of us, I used to do this too, man, back in the day when I was younger. Um, you know, a woman to do something bad and in order to, you know, when when when, they, when when it's makeup time, they get they actually get rewarded instead of punished. And actually, I'm going to put a text thread about, you know, I'm going to put a, a text thread in the Patreon. Um, I'm going to put a text thread on the Patreon wall um, of what I mean of punishing a woman's bad behavior is a woman that, she, you know, she walked away from me, you know, and, and after a few months, she came back and I'm going to put the text thread of how I dealt with that. You know, most guys in that situation would, you know, have makeup sex and then they get their dick sucked and shit like that and you know the sex be bomb and it's all and everything all good and what happens is when you do shit like that you reward the woman for walking away from you and coming back you know what i'm saying she actually gets a reward don't play that shit fellas when a woman violates you when a woman violates you or she disrespects you or y'all have a big ass fight that makeup sex shit, I know it feels good, especially the makeup sex. I know that shit feels good. I know it's bomb. I know it's intense, but you're actually rewarding her. So, you know, you train the woman when, when, when a woman do something bad and she get a reward for it, you train her subconsciously to do it over and over and over again. There's no consequence for the behavior. If a woman disrespect me, right? A woman disrespect me and call me out my name. Oh, oh, uh, Dre, you old bitch ass nigga. Da, 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 da. She done. We done. There's no there's no sucking my dick. There's no you going to have to pay for that. And if you going to come back, you going to have to come back cleaning, cooking, giving up some money or something. It ain't finna be just, "Oh, you come suck my dick." Cuz you get pleasure out of sucking a player's dick. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a woman get player, a woman get pleasure out of pleasing an alpha male or a player. So, you know, a lot of guys think that, oh, I'm going to have a suck dick or all this shit. That shit don't mean nothing, especially if you're an alpha male player. A woman get pleasure out of that. So, you know, a bitch disrespect me or walk off from me and then come back and think she's going to suck dick. Nah, that's pleasuring you. You're going to pay for it. I'm not rewarding bad behavior, and you shouldn't either. Um, I'm going to give you a couple tip, uh, a couple ways, though, how guys reward bad behavior. Number one is the pullback. When a woman pulls back from you, this, it's, it's, this is the most common one right here, that pullback. In every situation, at some point, the woman is gonna pull back. I don't give a fuck who you are, I don't give a fuck what situation, but in every situation, a pullback happens. What happens most of the time, guys take the women, woman back on some makeup shit, they, they, they ain't seen each other in two two weeks, a month, two months, a month or whatever, and now that spark is there, and they just, they once they see each other, they all over each other, and, and you know, she suck his dick real good, she suck your dick real good, the sex is bomb, it's magical, and bam, nothing happened. What happened was, she just fucking pulled back, got her some new dick, got her some new experience, had fun, got a breath of fresh air, and came right back to you you don't, that's punishing bad behavior. So now what happens when she wanna do it again, what's going to happen? In her mind, nothing is going to happen, but she ain't gonna do nothing but run back to you when she start missing you, run back to you, get to suck your dick, you're gonna fuck her real good and blow her back out and everything gonna be all good. And from there, you set the course and you set the tone for the rest of your relationship. You know what I'm saying? Another way, like I say, it's, um, well, like I said earlier, it's the arguments and the fucking fights. Getting big ass blow ups, the bitch leave for the weekend, you know, or, or she block you for the whole weekend. Then, you know, a couple days later, oh, I miss you, you come, you have sex, that's it. Well, what's gonna happen again? 
nothing because she wasn't punished. She didn't have consequences for her, her disrespect, her, you know, her blocking you or, or cursing you out or, you know, calling you out your name, nothing. That big old fight, that big old blow up, she's screaming and losing her fucking mind, nothing happened. What she got, what she got for that was sex. Good sex, a, a nice dinner date, you know, quality time, you know, you came back, after the blow up, you know, a couple days, she came back, y'all spent quality time together, you know, you was on your shit, and you know, you knocked it down, you took her out to eat and all that shit to make up. What did she get? Good, you know, you rewarded her for bad behavior. She got good things for bad behavior. So this continues to happen, and you wonder why, you guys wonder why, Y'all keep seeing the same patterns in your relationship. You wonder why you can't get your woman to fucking act right. It's because you are rewarding her bad behavior. You know what I'm saying? The last thing, like I said before too, is walking away from you. If the relationship ain't going good or you know she's not getting what she want out of it or things are not going her way or maybe she met somebody else, a lot of the times women will walk away from the situation. You know what I'm saying? They'll walk away from the situation. Sometimes they'll sabotage it before, but they'll walk away from the situation, dump you, whatever. What happens is they go out here, they find other people, they, they fuck, they, they, they test the waters, and they come back to you. When a woman walks away from you, you are supposed to, any of these situations, you are supposed to punish that shit. But what happens is she walks away, like I said, walks away, a breath of fresh air. She ain't gotta fuck with you. She testing the market meeting new guys having fun hanging out and when she miss you after six months she comes back to you and then what what do you do you miss her too you blow her back out you you spend quality time like i said you take out the dinner you know what i'm saying there's no consequences she get to suck your dick you eating her out and all that you set the tone so when now whenever she get tired or she not getting her way she gonna walk away and she's going to be rewarded for it when she gets back whether she pull back whether you argue she gets rewarded for disrespect she gets rewarded for pulling back she gets rewarded for dumping you and walking away you have to punish a woman's bad behavior period so let's say a woman disrespects you this is what you do right you could do you could do a few things man but me what i like to do if a woman disrespect me i check them number one you already know we checking them or charge them but if, if a woman disrespect me, man, I put them on ice, right? Put them on ice, they don't hear from me, you know, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? And they get, they get fucking demoted. They don't come back, you know, they don't, don't, they don't get that top spot. If a woman say, now the first time a woman called me out my name, right? The first time a woman may call me out my name, she get a pass. Cause she don't know how serious I am about shit like that. She say stupid, you stupid motherfucker, some shit like that, right? Cause she mad at me. You get a pass, but you gonna get your ass checked. But let's say she do it again, right? The bitch is going on ice, period. And when she come back to me, or when I get ready to come back around to her, she's not getting fucked good. She's not getting to suck my dick, no nothing. You gonna clean, you gonna fucking cook, you gonna take my car to get washed, you gonna run, you gonna run errands all day, you gonna fucking serve me. You might have to fucking break bread, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for violating the game. Now, if a woman pull back from me, you know what I'm saying, and, and before I get to the pullback, but let's say, you know, with the disrespect thing, she might lose her fucking spot. You dig what I'm saying? All them, all them privileges, the privileges, the privileges, excuse me, the privileges she had, you know, of being around me so much and you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna revoke my time, my attention and everything. Now, that's what you gotta do, man. You have to make them feel it. Not cursing them out, not beating on, uh, beating on them or no shit like that. You gotta make them feel it. Now, let's say she pulled back from me. If a bitch pulled back from me, it's she lose her spot that's automatic that's you move your feet you lose your seat you know what i'm saying she get automatically demoted i'm not gonna put her on ice she put herself on ice she walked she she pulled back she want to act you know funny and shit like that when she try to come back and, and try to get up on me because i'm not chasing no fucking pull back but when she start reaching back out her spot is going to be gone and she's going to know that somebody else has her spot she's not gonna get to come back and suck me and you know pleasure me and then now she getting pleasure out of pleasure in an alpha male you know what i'm saying no fuck me and all that no, 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 no. You're going to have to work your way back up to that spot. Now, let's say the bitch walk away from me and don't want to fuck with me no more. Now, if you walk away from me and, you know, some time passed, three, four, five, six months passed, that's pretty much a wrap for me at least. I don't like to fuck backwards. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave the, um, I'm going to put a text thread. I'm going to put the text thread in the, uh, in the, on, on the Patreon wall right after I put this video up. So, but you know, if 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 a, if a bitch walk away from me, it's pretty much a wrap for me at least. I may go back. You know, I got a couple that you know that happen. You know, every once in a while I smash and shit like that. But especially these days, you move your seat. Especially pull back, that's fine. 
you, women pull back. That's what they do. But you're still going to get punished. But if you walk away, if you want some, yo, we done, and then time pass, you're not coming back into my life. So if a broad walk away from me, we pretty much done. And that's that's all the punishment. And I'm going to keep living my life. I'm going to keep upgrading. And I'm not going to lose no fucking sleep. I don't lose sleep over no bitches. And your ass going to be out the door. And it's going to be hard for you to find another caliber, a dude a cali uh, of my caliber and let you get that close to me like that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be, you're going to be hard pressed to, to, to fucking replace me. And I know that because these niggas ain't fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? So that's that, man. Uh, you know, you got to, you know, you cannot reward a woman's bad behavior. You have to punish it, man. You put them on ice. You, you, you indifferent. You know what I'm saying? Make them serve you. And if you got to make them come out your pocket or charge their ass to the game, they pull back. They pull back. Ain't none of that come back. And, nah, replace their motherfucking ass. They walk away from you two, three, four, five, six months. That's a wrap. It done deal. It's over with. Ain't, they ain't no nothing else to talk about. They realize they fucked up. That's how you punish a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Not by beating on them. Not not you know cursing them out and, and, and cutting them down with words and shit. All that whole shit. Nah. Nah, we putting them hoes on ice, we checking them hoes, and we charging them hoes to the game, and we making them hoes serve us, period. Ain't no sex, ain't no ain't no sucking dick and licking ass. They love doing shit like that. They love pleasuring guys. You know what I'm saying? Well, pleasuring alpha males. So that don't work, man. You got to make them feel it. Women remember how you make them feel. You dig what I'm saying? They don't remember the shit you talk about. They don't remember none of it. They, they remember how you make them feel. So if you make them feel that shit, then that's how you punish them. You know what I'm saying? emotional real emotional emotional turmoil but that's it man stop rewarding these women's bad behavior if you like the video you found value in it hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell that way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press comment down below let me know what you guys think um go get my new course how to make a woman fall in love and obsess over you. Real dope game, real deep game. Three hours, I break it down. I even talk about dopamine, serotonin, and all this shit. And I teach you how to manipulate this stuff in a woman's body. Real deep shit. These dudes ain't doing it on this level. I'm telling you, trust me. Go get there. Also get the Attraction 101 course that's available. I dropped the price. You know, if you're watching this, you catch this when I first drop it, I dropped the price so you can catch up because you're going to need that attraction part down before you get into, how, you know, getting a woman to fall in love with you and obsess over you and shit like that. But follow me on the gram also at get underscore free underscore game. Also join the private Facebook community. I'm going to leave the link in the description for that. This is a Patreon video, so you guys are already on the Patreon. Um, what else I got? If you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, fuck with your boy i do this i will get you in the game i'll get you right i've been dealing with women all my life successfully um you know i, I got the game covered years and years and years twenty damn that tw shit over 20 years of experience dealing with women consistently you know what i'm saying um yeah i think that's it man i think i covered all bases let me see yeah that's it is that it instagram uh, that's it. Hey, if I forgot it, I'll put it on the next video. But, man, I appreciate you guys um, for supporting me. I, uh, uh, I can't fucking talk, man. I appreciate everything, man. I, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and watching my shit all the way through, sharing the shit, commenting. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate everything. Every inch of support counts, you know. And you guys that donate to me, I appreciate that as well, man. I love you guys. You guys make me who I am. I wake up and I do this shit for y'all. It's your boy, King Dre. I'm gone.